Hey guys, this is video number two of my Linux CNC series, and in this video we're just going to briefly go over the Linux environment, nothing detailed at all. If you have any experience with Linux CNC or Linux in general, feel free to skip this video, you're not going to get anything extra out of it. Uh, I am going to keep it short though, and there's just a few things I want to show you. So this is Linux CNC 2.7 immediately after installation. The only thing that's different is this directory that I've created for myself. You can right click and go create folder to make, it, to make your own folder. So I like to keep my programs organized like this. I have a CNC mill and lathe, so I keep those programs organized. And everything else is just uh, the stock installation of Linux CNC 2.7. Um, other things that are nice, you've got your home directory. You're probably not going to use most of this. You will use your Linux CNC directory, and this is where a lot of your configurations are going to be saved. Well, all of your configurations. You've also got this uh, file system directory, which is kind of like your Windows systems directory. You'll probably not be using this unless you're doing some real under the hood tinkering uh, with your Linux CNC installation. You'll notice up here we've got four different workspaces. So, for instance, if we were uh, doing something here and then we needed to edit some code in a you know in a file over here and we wanted to launch the internet uh, it's kind of handy because you can skip between uh, different workspaces just to kind of keep things tidy for some reason in this virtual box installation that you're looking at uh, I'm not able to drag a, a folder or a window between workspaces but on your installation you can grab a folder and you can drag it and it would move it from uh, this workspace over to this one or this one so that's kind of nice too the only other thing I'm going to point out is the applications menu. Most of this stuff is just stock, you know, run-of-the-mill Linux stuff. Uh, you can play around in here if you want. I'm not going to go over it. Uh, except for the CNC menu, this is the one that's specific to Linux CNC. And uh, here we've got a config picker. I'll show you that real fast. We've got some documentation, some wizards, a latency test. I think we're going to break every one of these. Well, maybe not the documentation, but we'll break some of these out into separate videos uh, and go over them in detail. Uh, that just, I think, makes it a little bit easier to find information later on down the road. I kind of dislike the idea of burying a ton of information in a long video, so I tend to keep my videos short and uh, and just go over one specific aspect or one specific thing in a video. This is bothering me. we got to go to workspace number one. Okay, so uh, if you've gotten this far and you just want to tinker around for a minute, go ahead and check out the config picker. And this, these are different configurations that will show you a lot of what... Linux CNC is capable of and this is actually going to be video number three but right now I just want to show you if we go ahead and click on access we can install an access config and this is going to be what you're used to seeing when people talk about Linux CNC um, we're not going to play around with this right now but uh, feel free to click around if you're following along and we'll do this more uh, in video number three so that's it oh actually let me show you if we go back into the home directory here's those config files now uh, we're not going to get into that right now either. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not so you can catch the rest of this series. I will see you in the next video.